Hi guys, uh, we'll be discussing one topic from therapeutic guidelines today, which is corticosteroids use in dentistry. I don't know why so many people are still confused when questions are asked uh, on this topic and definitely one question would be asked in your ADC written exam on this topic. So I'm just trying to clear some, some things about it. I don't know, call it myth, call it confusion, call it whatever. Uh, you may have been taught in a certain way as to how to prescribe a steroid and when to double its dose, etc. Uh, but since you're giving the Australian Dental Council exam, uh, you have to follow their guidelines. So there are many things like this topic for the ADC exam that you have to unlearn and relearn it. And this is one of those things. I'm sure uh, when a patient comes to you for an extraction and the patient is on steroid, you may just ask him directly to double the dose on the day of extraction and just go ahead with it. Uh, but here in therapeutic guidelines, it's stated differently. Uh, let's just see what all is mentioned here and how you're supposed to go about it. I understand there are a lot of dental specialists who are giving this exam. But when you're giving this exam, they are expecting your knowledge to be like a graduate level. And they are expecting you to behave as a graduate student. So even though you may have more knowledge and uh, better clinical judgment uh, they don't want to see that they just are going to see you as a dental graduate who has just graduated from his college and your experience is as equal to that which means that even though in your practice you have been routinely prescribing a steroid for whatever reasons you deem appropriate you cannot do so while answering the question for adc in part one or part two exam either so let's just read, uh, I mean, everything is black and white in therapeutic guidelines. So it's very easy to miss some key words which are really important. And I, if it were up to me, I would highlight those words and then distribute the therapeutic guidelines. But anyways, let's just see. So uh, what does therapeutic guidelines mention about uh, steroid use in dentistry? Uh, so in dentistry, mostly uh, we give topical steroids, interdental steroids, and systemic steroid out here, okay? Out of which uh, you as a graduate dentist is expected to prescribe topical and intradental. Though it's mentioned here that we do use systemic, let me take you to this point out here. Do you read this line? Systemic corticosteroids should only be prescribed by a dental specialist. Or in your scenario, if this option is not mentioned in the question, then other option would be mentioned, refer to the GP, then you have to choose that. But you will not, as a dental graduate student or the person who's giving the ADC exam expected to have a level of a basic graduate student is going to prescribe a systemic corticosteroid. You understand? Which means if a patient comes to you, has a lot of swelling or any of these conditions which are mentioned for which conditions systemic corticosteroids are prescribed, you will not be prescribing this medicine. Is it clear? Okay, let's go back. Again, uh, even in the topical and interdental one, you can prescribe without a specialist advice only these three in this concentration. Hydrocortisone acetate, triamcinolone, acetonide, 0.02%, beta-methosone uh, valerate, 0.02% and 0.05%. The same beta methasone valerate in 0.1 concentration cannot be prescribed without specialist advice. So you should remember this thing, this part that you can prescribe this. Now, for example, you got a patient having, say, a white lesion and you feel steroid application is advised in this, like some autoimmune condition. And you want to prescribe triamcinolone acetonide, which is usually present in aura base. You can prescribe this 0.02%. But if you want to prescribe any of these, you will refer the patient and let the you will refer the patient to the specialist, and the specialist is the one who's going to prescribe these medications. You understand that? So you as a dental graduate student will only prescribe this much topical or intradental. 
you will not prescribe any oral corticosteroid medication without special without referring the patient to the specialist the specialist is going to prescribe that or if you don't have a specialist and in the question it mentions that the patient needs systemic corticosteroid what would you do option would be you are going to prescribe or you're going to refer to the gp you're going to refer to the gp is that clear even if the question is saying that the patient has come for extraction and the needs double the dose on the day of extraction uh, would you do that uh, you would not do that unless you talk to the patient's gp or you would refer the patient to the specialist you understand if if you have already spoken to the gp and the gp is the one who's going to double the dose and then you are going to do the extraction that's okay i hope this is very very clear questions on steroids are going to be asked uh disadvantage of the steroid in a long term is it causes immunosuppression so again if a patient is on immunosuppressant i mean is on steroid for a long duration expected to have some immunosuppressant uh, things in the body then you are going to prescribe antibiotic again if the option is referred to the specialist you will choose that if the option is referred to the gp you will choose that don't directly jump on choosing the answer that you yourself would be starting the antibiotic if these two options are given please choose that okay i know you may be well qualified you may be practicing this thing in your country which is very well accepted and we all have been doing so but adc has different guidelines theoretically okay uh, in their own clinical practice i don't know how many dentists are following that because half of the dentists that i spoke to in australia don't follow any of these guidelines that much but since you are going to give an exam stick to this i i understand you are giving a dental exam your experience says otherwise but if therapeutic guidelines say otherwise just follow the therapeutic guidelines because you want to clear the exam then you practice however you like but to clear the exam just follow this okay so again systemic corticosteroid should only be prescribed by a dental specialist and these are the indications please remember it i hope this is very clear thank you